Yes, yes, I know I'm neglecting all you strategy and civilization fans, and I do apologize. New content to cover though is just hard to come by right now, especially on the Safe 6 Switch front. I assure you though, when news does break on that, I'll be all over it like some nasty rash. Oh, that's probably not the best way to describe my intentions. Anyway, there is still a couple of interesting strategy experiences coming to Switch in the foreseeable future. We've got Fire Emblem coming next month, we've got Northguard coming at some point this year, and now, following an announcement in Nintendo's E3 presentation, we've got the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics coming in the final quarter of this year. The game is also coming out on PS4, Xbox One and PC. So guess what we're doing in this video? Yes, we're going to look at what this game is all about. We'll look at where it takes its inspiration from and what we can expect gameplay to be like. I hope you're strapped in because we're going to dive into one hell of a weird world here. And one final thing, this game is still very much in development, so expect that visuals and other elements will probably change. Very quickly before we discuss what really matters in this video, what we've learnt about the game and its gameplay, I want to have a very quick word on what the Dark Crystal is. The game is based on the upcoming Netflix TV series, The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, which itself is based on the 1982 film The Dark Crystal. If you're interested, the TV series is set to air on August 30th of this year, and I encourage you to throw yourself into this mad world if you like the look of it. The game itself follows the story of the upcoming TV series, but also includes extra content which won't be in the Netflix series such as additional side quests, arenas and a new game plus mode once you've finished the main story. So I guess the biggest question with any game we've not seen a great deal of is what kind of game is this and what are some of its key features? If you're not too sure then don't worry, from watching the Direct and the Treehouse Live event plus a little bit of research on the internet, I've got you covered. Gameplay wise, this is a turn based tactics game. From the gameplay I'll stick on the screen, you should have a pretty good idea what that means, but for Switch users, think Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and for anybody else, think XCOM. This is a tried and tested gameplay style that's been around for a long time, but, if done right, still remains a ton of fun after all these years. Battles in the game will also involve deploying your brain cells to consider the importance of the design and terrain of the map, too. Higher ground gives you sweet bonuses, and other parts of the map are dynamic as well. For example, there are pillars that can be knocked down on one of the levels, and as they fall, they crush everything in their path. Now, just think about how cool that would be against your enemies, if you can get it running like clockwork. The fact the terrain matters and the map is dynamic in this game is great for enhancing the tactical experience, and is certainly a layer of gameplay we shouldn't overlook. What units will you be taking into these dynamic and interactive maps then, and how do they work? You enter each battle with a party of heroes, which you'll see in the Netflix show, some of which are retained by following side quests which are additional to the main story of the show though. There are over 20 of these heroes to unlock in total, all with their unique strengths, based on stats and special abilities, which make certain units better in certain areas. Some heroes are good at supporting others, i.e. by giving things like health boosts, some units are best utilised for ranged combat, and some are just great at getting stuck into some good old fashioned close range melee fighting. Moreover, each character's stats change after battle, I say change because skills can both decrease as well as increase, and some heroes, from what was said in the Treehouse livestream, appear to be completely customisable. I can't wait to find out more about that. So then, you'll need to think about how you use your characters, you'll be growing attached to each because of how unique they'll be, and it appears as though you'll be crafting some skill sets yourself. This game is looking really positive. Moving on, how difficult will this game be? Well, a lot of that depends on how difficult you want it to be. We do have things such as different battles having different criteria to fulfil, with at least some of them having turn limits, which will make you add that little bit extra consideration to each movement and how you utilise your movement points. In addition, from the wording used in the Treehouse Live event, it does appear that as the game progresses, the game does increase in difficulty. 
More crucially, however, and this is where the player has a massive say on the difficulty, there is a variation of fundamental difficulty settings to choose from, and if you want to make that challenge even more difficult, each map has additional optional collectibles to gather which will make those turn limits seem even more difficult to achieve than before. Is there anything else we know about the game yet? Well, yes there is. There are 80 campaigns to explore. It's not just your heroes and soldier stats and abilities you'll upgrade as you go through the game, you'll also have to upgrade their gear and assign them jobs. And finally, you can apparently carry over unused action points if you don't take your second action on a turn, which can be used to change the turn order apparently. It will be very interesting to see how effective that is. It's always good to get your character to the front of the queue though. There's so many of these features I can't wait to learn more about before the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics releases in the final quarter of this year and, because apparently there's more reveals to come before release, I'm sure we'll be revisiting this game sooner rather than later. What do you think though? Are you excited for this game and do you think you'll be picking it up later this year? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with a friend and subscribe to the channel to see more content and this and plenty more. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video soon.